Blessing in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Lady Robin Criswell, here with my daughter, Emily Criswell, and we are here at the Fifth Ward Missionary Baptist Church, where our pastor is Timothy Criswell. Happy Resurrection Sunday. We are here this morning just to bring you love, hope, and healing, and give you encouragement and words of hope. Happy Resurrection Sunday. I know this may be a tough time for each and every one of us, but remember, because he got up, we will get out. I hope this service touches each and every one of you. Blessings. salvation he's a strong deliverer in him our law we trust oh we ought to praise him praise him praise him praise him jesus Jesus, Jesus, Mary's baby, Jesus, my Jesus, Jesus, Doctor Jesus, Jesus, Lawyer Jesus, 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 my sweet Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, bless his say, bless his Savior, he's worthy to. Put your hands together. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him, yeah. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy Oh, I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him, yeah. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy Oh, he's my rock. And he's my will. He's my will. Turning over in the middle of the wheel. I know he'll never. I know he'll never. Never let me down. Never let me down. He's just a jewel, just a jewel that I have that found. I have oh, hallelujah. 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 I love. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I love to praise. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, I love to praise Oh, I love to praise his holy. Oh, he's my rock. He's my rock. My rock, my rock, my sword. And he's my will. He's my will. Turn it over in the middle. Oh, I know he'll never. I know he'll never. He'll never let me down. He's just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to pray. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love. Oh, I love to praise his holy. Oh, he's my rock. Oh, and he's my will. He's my will. Turn over in the middle. Oh, I know he'll never. I know he'll never. He'll never let me down. He's just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love, oh, I love in the morning, I love to pray in the evening, I love to pray in the midnight, I love to pray, 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 when I'm sick, y'all, I love to pray, I love, I love to pray, oh, I love to Praise His holy name. Our scripture reading this morning is coming from Mark 16, 9 through 14. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils and she went and told them that he had been with him as they mourned and wept. and they when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her believed not after that he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country and they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat at meat, and unbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen after he was risen. May the Lord have the blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his word. Amen. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Father God, we just come on today, Master, as we thank you, God, for rising early on this Sunday morning. We thank you, Master, for being the Alpha and Omega. We thank you, Father, for being the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you, God, for being our doctor, our healer, our comforter, and our provider. Master, we need you in this hour, God. As we are continuing to go through this pandemic, Master, we thank you, God, that you are still with us. We thank you, God, that we still have the power of prayer. And God, we thank you that you are still moving through the land. Souls are still being delivered. People are still being healed. Mountains are still being shifted across the nation. It's only because of your hand in the middle of the land. And God, we lift up our nation to you right now, God. We thank you, Master, for things are as well as they are, for they could be worse. We thank you for the scripture, Psalms 91. You have been protecting us day in and day out. We thank you for Isaiah 58 and 8. You have been healing the land. 
And now, Master, we come on today just thanking you right now. Thanking you, God, for the White House. Thanking you, Master, for all the people across the nation, God. Thanking you, God, that you are healing our land in the name of Jesus. And we will continue to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We come lifting up all of our seniors right now in the name of Jesus. Those that really are shut in, God, and before this pandemic that just can't get out but want to get out, we come lifting them up right now. We come lifting those up in the hospitals right now, God. Those on ventilators, those are, that are having trouble breathing. We come asking you to touch their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. We come praying for those family members that have loved ones in nursing homes that they can't go see them right now. Send your spirit, Lord, to comfort them in the name of Jesus, God. So we thank you, Father. We love you, Master, and we adore you. We know that this too shall pass. This too will pass, but we as your people have to suffer just a little bit. For it wasn't easy for you, God, as you went up that hill called Calvary. It wasn't easy for you, so we have to suffer just a little bit because you suffered for each and every one of us. You were nailed to that cross for each and every one of us. The piercing in your hand was for each and every one of us. The blood that came streaming down was for each and every one of us. So we gonna have to go through because you went through. The crown of thorns was on your head for each and every one of us. But God, we thank you right now that you got up early one Sunday morning. And because you got up, all power is in your hands. And we have the power to claim the victory. We thank you, God, and we love you. In your daughter, son, Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and bless God. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He
is the day that the Lord has made, and we rejoice and be glad. We thank God for this Resurrection Sunday. And no matter what you're going through, because he got up, we can get up too. Because he lived, we can face tomorrow. Life is worth living just because he lives. As we celebrate Resurrection Sunday, not just only this day, for the believer, every day we are to celebrate his goodness. There's an old song I want to try to do. It's just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me from evil with my mind stayed on Jesus just another day that the Lord has kept me let me say it one more time just another day that the Lord has kept me it's just another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me from all evil. Hallelujah. With my mind. With my mind, with my mind, stay on Jesus. Well, it's just another day. It's just another day that the Lord sure has kept me. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Amen. Giving all praises our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to uh, him who is able to keep us to all of you, to God's children. It's a good day to be alive. I want to call your attention to Mark the 16th chapter beginning at verse number 9. Mark the 16th chapter beginning at verse number 9. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons she went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and weep and when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her they did not believe after that he appeared it uh, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country and they went and told it to the rest but they did not believe either Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and the hardness of their heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. I want to talk about just for a few minutes the day he got up. Amen. The day he got up. Amen. That's good news all by itself that he got up. Amen. That we do not serve a a dead Savior, we serve a living Savior who's alive and evermore doing miracles, signs, and wonders. It was a dark day when Jesus was crucified as he hung on the cross 
all the sins of every individual were placed on him. Isn't that good news to know what sins you have committed in your past and in your future that they were nailed to the cross with him? First Peter chapter 2 and verse 24. Darkness covered the land for three hours in Luke 23 and 44. There was also darkness and gloom in the hearts of his disciples after his death. They did not understand the full plan that God was fulfilling, and they did not understand that it is not over until God says it's over. The Bible speaks of sin, death, as darkness. And we have to understand people without Christ are living in darkness. We have to understand that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We have to understand the light of the sun, the S-O-N, not the S-U-N, the light of the sun, amen. It comes to change our situation uh, as we accept him as Lord and Savior. This then, the message we have heard of him and declaring to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. We must understand not only that, there's power of the light. He said, I am the light of the world. Amen. Even though we are in the world, we are not of the world. And that's what gives us hope. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness overcome it not. Isn't that good to know that we have a Savior that's able to deliver us out of darkness? Then not only that, we have to understand the purpose of the light. As we celebrate Resurrection Sunday, we're not just celebrating a man coming together. We're not celebrating a new clothes. We're celebrating that a Savior is alive and well. He said, I come uh, a light into the world that whosoever believe on me should not abide in darkness. And this is the com condemnation that the light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Isn't it good to know those of us who are part of the body of Christ? Isn't it good to have your testimony? Amen. When God brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. When God changes you, when God began to come on the inside of you, we have to understand there's a change that takes place on the inside side then it comes on the outside amen and we understand when we accept the light of the world Jesus Christ the son of the living God amen then we understand fully that I don't want to go back in that state that I was once in before Jesus found me not only that we have to understand not only does he give us light amen there's life from the sun you have not been able to live a full life if you're not able to die ready to die and you're not able to read it for death if you have not accepted him as Lord and Savior. That's why I say every day, every day, even when I send out my message to encourage those of you that we win no matter what because of our relationship in Jesus Christ. And you must understand, beloved, that you have to know him in an intimate way. Amen. Not how long you've been attending church. Not how long, amen, you've been the president of a ministry. The question is, have you accepted him as Lord and Savior. If you have accepted him as Lord and Savior then you don't have to walk in fear. Amen. You don't have to walk in darkness. You don't have to walk in doubt because the Savior came and he changes the whole picture. Amen. We understand the life from the Son. Amen. The source of the life. He said I am the bread of life. I'm the resurrection and the life. I am the way the truth and the life. Do you not understand there's no way that you can get to the Father is only through the Son, Jesus Christ. Not your good works, not how much money you give, not how kind you are. The only way you can get to the Father is through the Son, Jesus Christ. And we have to understand that the promises of life, he that believeth on me shall have everlasting life. And that's what gives me hope on this day that I'm going to have everlasting life. Even when I check out of here, I'm still going to have everlasting life. He that heareth my word and believeth 
believeth on me had sent me have everlasting life and shall not come in condemnation but is passed from death to life. That's good news to know that we have a Savior that got up on that third day that they hung him on that cross and they put nails in his hand. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They pierced him in his side and many thought it was over on that good Friday and as they whipped him all night long they put him in a borrowed tomb and the Bible said that he stayed there all Friday and all Friday night but let me tell you that's not the end of the story I know it looked like it's over but you need to find hope in knowing that it ain't over till God says it's over the Bible declared that early Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hand and for that reason because he got up we can get up and overcome anything isn't it good to know that we serve our living God that we serve a God that's still performing miracles that we serve a God that's the same yesterday today and forevermore if you're going to be able to stand in these difficult times you got to stand on the word of God but the word of God changes not the word of God is the same seven days a week 365 days a year you can depend on the word of God and because because he got up, we are winners in Christ Jesus. I don't know about you out there today, but because he got up, I can give him praise in advance. Because this battle is not mine, it belongs to the Lord. Not only that, we must understand the freedom from Satan's bondage. Amen. When we accept him as Lord and Savior, he gives us liberty. Amen. Freedom from Satan's bondage. Amen. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. From the power of Satan, God that made they receive forgiveness of their sin. Amen. I thank God that on this day, that I'm free from my sins in the past. I'm free from my present sins. I'm free from my sins in the future because I've accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. I'm grateful today that he got up. Amen. And we don't just wait till this time of year to celebrate him. We celebrate him seven days a week because he got up. I have victory. And because I have victory, I'm a winner. I'm more than a conqueror. So I want to encourage you no matter what it looked like, no matter what you're going through, because he got up, you can get up. Because he got up, you can make it. Because he got up, you can take it. Because he got up, you can stand. Because he got up, he's your strength. He's your hope. Amen. He's your all in all. Be encouraged. He rose early one Sunday morning. And for that reason, I give him glory. And I give him praise. Because he got up, we can make it. So I want to encourage you. It might look like it's over, but it ain't over till God says it's over. Hold on to your faith. The Son of the living God is alive and well, and he's still doing great things. Let us pray. God, our Father, how we thank you for all you've done. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, the comforter that gives me peace in times like these. Lord, thank you. And you're very present help in the time of trouble. Thank you. And we've been man do it for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Thank you. That this what we are going through, it won't last always. And for that I lift my hands and bless your name. You are our hope. You are our strength. You are our peace. Now I pray for those that are out there that are watching us via social media. If you have not accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, even right now he's able to save you in your homes you're listening to the radio he's able to save you do you realize that you need a savior do you realize that he loved you so that he died that you might have everlasting life the bible say confess with your mouth believe in your heart that he rose from the dead, then you shall be saved. So we pray for you now. 
that you will experience this joy in knowing him in an intimate and personal way. God, our Father, we pray for every believer. We pray for every sinner that you would save and that you would heal and that you would deliver and they would choose you this day whom they will serve. Thank you for loving me so that you paid the price on Calvary for me. Thank you for loving me in such a way I can never repay you but I sure can say Lord thank you. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen.